Shalom lekulam. Hello, everyone. This Shabbat, our Torah portion, is Ki Tisa, famous, among other things, for the golden calf debacle. Moses, our greatest teacher, is in communion with God for 40 days and nights, inheriting not only the Ten Commandments, but our Torah and its teachings. The people of Israel begin living with terror and turn backwards toward their most recent past in Egypt by creating an idol to assuage their fears. Imagine Moses on the mountain, learning everything that he is taught by God to in turn teach and role model for his people. 40 days and 40 nights, not only of literal elevation on the mountain, but of the elevation of spirit, knowledge, and relationship with our Creator. My suggestion for this Shabbat is to begin today and count each of us 40 days. How can we do something every day reminding us of our teacher Moses and how not to live in the fear our ancient ancestors felt, something that will connect us with the divine in each other, with creation, or with our tradition? Perhaps we can choose to say the Shema each night before we go to sleep for 40 nights or wake up each morning and thank God for returning our souls to us each day. Or perhaps let's make a commitment with our spouses, our significant others, our friends or our children to make time for them every day. When we are absent from those we love or absent from our tradition for any length of time, sometimes fear overtakes. If we can make a practice of love, prayer or deep connection for 40 days, Perhaps that practice will stay with us and we will not in fear turn to other idols that will lead us down a path of fearfulness. If we can elevate ourselves, we can help elevate each other and live our lives strengthened by our tradition. Take the time. Wishing each of you a beautiful Shabbat of blessings. Shabbat Shalom.